guys, how's it going? Welcome to the first episode of something totally new. This is something I've been wanting to try for quite some time. I've been wanting to sit down and have a venue where I can just chat and talk about various stuff. We're going to try a segment here, we're going to call it Off-Road YouTube 101. Essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about off-road kind of power sports, ATV side-by-side -side type YouTube channels, how I run my channel, and I'm going to answer a bunch of questions a lot of people have. I constantly get asked in the comments, what cameras do you use? Which GoPro is the best? What mic setup do you use? What type of SD card should I be using? What's the best format to upload to YouTube? What editing software do you use? All sorts of those questions that are really hard to answer in the ride content, in the ride videos, stuff like that. Not to mention that a lot of people are just coming here for the ride videos. They don't want to hear about all the kind of technical jargon that goes into making these videos. What kind of computer setup do I run? All that stuff. Um, these are very common questions I get through um, Facebook Messenger, through Instagram, and often in the comment section of the videos on YouTube. So it's finally time to address a lot of these issues that I've been promising people to address. Aside from this, we're also going to start another segment called Tech Talk Tuesdays or something along those lines where I'll get a chance to sit down here and we're going to talk about sponsors, supporters, uh, various parts, reviews, positives and negatives of certain mods and stuff like that. And that's going to give us another area to talk about stuff like tires, which tires are the best depending on the type of riding you do. Why do I like certain machines over others? And stuff like that. Anyways, we'll keep on point with this being the first episode of Off-Road YouTube 101. We're going to start off with, so you want to be an off-road YouTuber. Awesome! You know, it's a lot of fun. I make these videos because I really enjoy it. Some of them do awesome. Some of the videos I think are going to do amazing, flop. Some of the videos I think twice about even making, or consider not uploading, do great. There's not much method to the madness sometimes. There's no secret formula, guys. Online, you see all this stuff about, you know, do this, five tips, five things not to do, 10 things you need to do, five tips for new YouTubers to explode. No such thing. Is there better kind of behaviors and is there better things to do that will help you succeed? Most definitely. Is there things you probably shouldn't do? Also true. But at the end of the day, there really is no magic. Um, some people make it, some people don't. Some of the people that make excellent content never get discovered. Some people that make terrible content explode and, and get millions of subs. Um, it, it's similar to, to mainstream music. There's probably so many amazing musicians playing somewhere in a basement never to be heard of. And then there's a lot of musicians that are out there in the mainstream killing it on top, you know, rocking the charts. And that's not to say they're not good, but there's probably just as many other guys out there in a basement that could rock out as hard as them. Same goes for YouTube. It's so overpopulated now. When I first started making videos like off-road stuff, side-by-sides, there was really no one else making side-by-side -side content aside from uploading like a cell phone video, which set seven, eight years ago was pretty crappy still. Of, 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 you know, a one or two minute clip tops, usually it was 10, 15, 20 second clips, and I was so sick of watching those. Um, I had a razor, well, at that time I was thinking about getting a razor, then I ended up getting a razor, and at that point I was really into photography. These are just a couple of the cameras I use now. Um, over to the, to the right here, we're going to go over an episode in the future that goes over all my camera gear, both photography equipment and videography equipment, but, um, this is just some of my camera gear that I use on the regular. As you can see, there's like GoPro 1 right there, GoPro 3 Plus, GoPro 5, 6, 7, 10. Um, tons of GoPros, tons of DSLRs. So going back and keeping on track, I was huge into photography since I was a little kid. Um, I got my first DSLR when I was probably like 9 or 10. It was an old um, Praktika, uh, made in West Germany. My grandfather gave it to me. Um, and, and it was fully manual and really like, it was one of those old DSLRs where you could like beat someone over the head with it and then take pictures of it when you were done. Um, it was that tough. I learned how to take photos with like the, the bare bones equipment. 
And then later, as digital came in, I, I was part of the digital revolution. I remember getting rid of my last Nikon film camera and almost thinking to myself, oh man, is this digital stuff really going to catch on? Back then, um, I, I remember I got like a 3.2 megapixel camera and I thought it was awesome. It had like a two inch viewfinder. It was the bee's knees. Anyways, we've evolved a long way since then and we'll save that for another episode, but that's what got me into creating these videos. I bought myself a waterproof, heavy duty, kind of like Nikon point and shoot, and it shot 1080 video. So my buddies are like, shoot some video, shoot some video. We were out riding, I shot some video. Let's see it, let's see it, upload it to YouTube. I'm like, I don't know how to do that. I've never edited video. I, I never had a really great computer. I was doing some uh, photo editing at that time already on the computer, but it was nothing crazy in comparison to what I do now. And um, I slapped together a video using some free software I downloaded and I, I thought to myself at that time, I remember this, I thought to myself it would be so cool if like 10,000 people watched this by the end of the year. Forgot about it, put it up on YouTube, three, four, maybe five months later, I go back and I'm like, I wonder how this video is doing. Um, and actually that's, that's when I, I, I couldn't figure out a name. I'm like, what am I gonna call this channel? I'm like, well, I like adrenaline. Uh, I'm an adrenaline junkie, I've always used to say that. Um, so I'm like, adrenaline junkie something, and then production. So adrenaline junkie prod came around. So it's short for adrenaline junkie production, and it kind of stuck. And I mean, once I thought of it and I used it, I had to stick to it. And I, you know, I'm happy, I like it. Um, so I checked back on that video, and lo and behold, that video had like 40, 50,000 views after a couple months. I'm like, holy cow! And then I dove into what has become my favorite part of YouTube, the comment section make more videos, best side-by-side -side video I've ever seen, you guys are crazy, all that stuff. Um, that first side-by-side -side video I posted is still a decent video, and I think it's got around 600,000 views at this point, and um, within the, by the end of the year, it, it had well over 150,000 views, I believe, and it had spurred me to, you know what, people wanna watch this, my friends like it, I'm out there anyways, let's film some of the bangers. So I released a few more videos. I didn't really take it seriously at that point. I just kind of released a video here, there. People started subscribing, people started watching, people asked for more, and that's what it evolved to. It wasn't until about probably like three-ish years ago where I started being like, hey, like this YouTube thing's a little bit more than just a hobby now. Um, I, can, I, can, I can, you know, maybe supplement my hobby with it. Um, about four years ago, I, I, I got the first kind of interest from people saying like, hey, can, can we support your channel? I'm like, huh? You want to support what I do? I'm like, yeah, yeah, we like the content, we like the grassroots feel of it. And um, essentially, that's when, um, that's when I, I teamed up with my first sponsor, which was Royal Distributing. And uh, eventually, that led to a waterfall. Um, from there, I went on and I, and I got some other sponsors and supporters and I got some more parts and things kind of grew. Um, I, I constantly get asked these days, like, you know, how much do you make? Uh, how do you get sponsors? There is no secret. There is no real answer. You, YouTube tells you what you need to do. At the end of the day, the core is creating good, entertaining content that people want to watch and share. You need to create good content and people will come watch it. You can't slap together a janky, shaky action cam video with terrible audio and poor lighting and terrible editing and expect millions of people to watch it and then Polaris to send you a new machine for free. Never gonna happen. Even now I have to remind people all the time, the sponsorships, the partnerships, the supporters that I have, it's not free. It's an exchange of services. I'm out here making videos and putting a lot of time into them. My videos that are two, let's say an hour to two and a half hours long, but let's focus on like the two hour-ish movies, those feature length videos, I mean, they take me anywhere from like 40 or 50 up to 100 hours to edit. And that's often not even including the time it takes to film them. I mean. And you know, I still gotta work and, and pay my bills and make money somewhere else because YouTube does not pay the bills. YouTube has gotten to the level where like it supplements the hobby now and it helps subsidize it. And yeah, I've got some wicked supporters that we'll get into in future episodes that really do help lower the burden of, of, of 
carrying all the financial weight of producing these videos and keeping the machine up to par and getting all the places to ride and all that stuff they really do help it's finally gotten to the level now where i can comfortably say like i mean it's almost break even at on a good day but i mean i still put hundreds of hours into this at the end of the day if i were to factor in how many hours i put into this youtube channel and the, like the, the revenue I've generated from the YouTube channel from all areas, I'd probably still be sitting around minimum wage. Realistically, no BS. Um, it's a very front heavy investment. It's an uphill battle at the beginning. It's hard to get those first hundred subs. It's hard to get those first thousand subs. It's hard to break 2,500. When you hit 2,500, you feel like a million bucks. When you hit 5,000, that's just like, oh my God, like, you know what, people maybe, people are commenting, you start getting some regular viewers, and then, you know, you, you hit that 10,000 point, and you're like, wow, like, where can I take this? But it takes time. Often, it takes a year or two or more. Um, I know there's a lot of smaller guys watching, watching the videos, and hopefully you're watching this video, and hopefully it can help you, but you know what? I do this because I have fun doing it. I like to create entertainment. I never went into this to make a dollar and my goal right now is still to keep it entertaining. It's still not a business. It's, it's, it's still a passion project to me and I think that's what makes it work. A lot of you long-term viewers will have noticed there's been times where I've kind of disappeared for a few months and haven't released much. That's life, you know? Life gets in the way sometimes. Being an adult sucks. And you can't always ride all day, every day, and things creep up. I mean, since starting this YouTube channel, I've gone to college, I've gone to university, um, I graduated both of those, I've, I've, I've worked full time doing all of that. Like, I mean, there's a lot I need to balance in between this. Um, which brings me back to why I started making YouTube videos. We'll go back to those like two minute clips, those 30 second clips in a cell phone or something. I was so sick of that. I wanted to sit down and back then I felt like I wanted to sit down and like watch something that was on TLC or Discovery Channel. Back before like TLC and Discovery Channel were just like reality TV. Sorry, lost my train of thought there. So yeah, I wanted to make um I wanted to make videos that you could sit down for 30 minutes or 45 minutes like a feature length trail ride, which is what I've coined my term to be. And um, essentially, over the years, I've created the long format trail riding niche by just releasing this content. At the, at, I've got tons of hate comments saying that, oh, these videos, I'm not sitting through this. Oh, this is way too long, it's boring. At the end of the day, the views speak differently. The, I got my, my cats are running around here like crazy, going like, they sleep all day, and then when you try to make a video, they gotta run around in circles. Anyways, yeah, you know, I had all these comments saying that you know these videos are silly like why who's gonna sit here and watch this but you know what the views speak differently um over the last few seasons we've really developed a following and, and and there's a lot of people that really enjoy the long format the long content you want to be successful on youtube do something other people aren't doing don't go out there and clone every video that's that's already been done 10 times over you don't need to be the 100,000th person to unbox a new iPhone. You know, go out there and, and, and be creative. This is a creative escape. I've always been a creative person. I've always had this artsy side, whether it was photography or now um, what has transitioned more into videography. I found myself in the situation now where I'm holding a video camera way more than, than a DSLR. And sometimes I miss snapping photos. I don't get, I, I miss a lot of photos because I'm too busy filming. But um, yeah, that's why I started making this content. I saw there was a void. I saw no one was doing this. So I'm like, I'm gonna fill that void. It took some time. But look at a lot of the other big channels you guys probably watch. I'm still, I'm a small fish. I'm not claiming to be anyone big. Um, in the niche, I'm definitely a moderate sized channel that's been around for quite some time. I've got some trail cred, but I'm not a big fish in, in, in the aspect of the YouTube world. I mean, look at, look at some channels out there that you probably watch that are related to my content that have also exploded because they're doing stuff others are doing and doing it better, doing it more consistently, or doing new things, innovating, pushing the bar, pushing the limit, 
they've, they've done something and they've made it their own. So there's, if there's one take home from this video, just remember, it doesn't matter how many YouTube videos or, or web articles you read on how to be successful on YouTube, none of that's going to help you unless you have some cool content to film, something people want to consume and watch. Um, and remember guys, there's value in the negative comments. Constructive criticism is very, very important. That's why I always preach. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking, good or bad. I want to read it. It's the best way to learn and improve and see what people like. There's going to be some hate. Ignore the, the, the hate, the empty hate. But focus on the constructive feedback. And then most of all, absorb all the positivity. I'm, co I'm so happy that I can say over 95% of the interaction and the comments that I get on YouTube are positive. They're great. They're supportive. And it's amazing. So, you know, we'll keep this first episode kind of concise. Um, we're going to break into a bunch of other episodes. I've got a list here, stuff like, you know, what gear do you use? Uh, what camera is right for you? The basics of shooting off-road, budget off-road camera setups, uh, how to get the shot, how to edit your off-road videos, GoPro versus camcorder, $500 camera setup, 1080 or 4K. Um, getting good audio, you know, computer setups, photography, thumbnails, starting your YouTube channel, getting sponsors and supporters, uh, the biggest mistakes new YouTubers make. I know, I know, how cliche does it get? Um, but my version of it, right? And, and a bunch of other stuff I have, and, and we can dig into this. I got nothing to hide. I want to see you guys succeed. I want to collab with other channels. Um, the, the stronger we build the off-road community, the better for us. I mean, I love off-roading. I started in, 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 in ATVs and Jeeps, evolved into the side-by-sides, which is what I do now. And I mean, I've always been an off-roader at heart, whether it was mountain biking as a kid or riding my three-wheeler, or you know what? The bug got me early. I got a Power Wheels Jeep CJ7 with a big eagle on the hood when I was two. That's when I got the bug. From that point on, it was only Jeep, 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 until I could drive. I was lucky when I was around 14, my dad bought me a YJ that I could rip around the property and I learned to drive and I learned to work on that thing. It was the first engine to rebuild, all that stuff. Uh, and since then, I've kind of gone crazy with it. Um, mechanics, cars, race cars, uh, off-roading, and photography and computers and stuff like that were always my biggest hobbies. I've always loved the outdoors and I've also had a techie, like kind of artsy side, like I said. So this just all molds together. Um, Off-roading is a big brotherhood and part of the brotherhood is supporting each other. So I'm hoping that these videos help support the community as a whole. And I hope, <coughs> excuse me. And I also hope that this is a good venue for us to chat about various topics and, um, and kind of just discuss what's important both from a creator's perspective on YouTube. So now if you're a YouTube creator, especially in our niche, I want you to leave a comment. I want you to keep up on these videos. I want you to, to tell me what you want to see in future videos, what kind of questions you have, because I want to go over all those important topics for you guys. And um, I, I want to bring some value. Um, I can't answer these questions in detail in the comment section, but I can do my best to answer them in detail here. Now, if you've gotten this far through this video, thank you. Second of all, if you've gotten this far through this video and you're like a super viewer and, and one of my big supporters, huge thumbs up. Thanks guys for supporting. And if this isn't for you, just, you know what? Stick to the ride videos. Cool. No harm done. No offense taken. But I am going to start diving off in a few other directions. If you're just into the hardcore riding, if you just like the compilations or the extended length trail rides, that's cool. Keep watching them. Stay tuned. There's tons of wicked riding content coming, but there's a lot more to me than that. And I just, I want to, I've been wanting to express it for a while. So hopefully we can bring in some new viewers and fans through some uh, more broad range of content in the, in the weeks and months to come. As always, leave me a comment, guys. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and uh, check out the Shopify store. We're gonna talk about merch and branding in future videos as well, and um, tips and tricks on that, and um, all sorts of other good stuff. So leave a comment with the, the questions you have and some feedback on this video. 
Hopefully the audio is okay. I'm gonna have to fine tune it in the next few episodes. Hopefully the lighting's okay. I've just got a really rudimentary setup right now. I'm sure the set will evolve. Um, and um, with that being said, uh, yeah, ride safe out there. See you in the next video.